Hey guys, Zubersweet here, and today I'm going to show you how to use a schematic from the Create mod. With the schematic, we can make a copy of our own builds and either build them again as a copy in our own world or share them with others. It's also possible to import schematics from other people to use in your own world. And it works well in both creative and survival mode. One of the first things you'll need is an empty schematic. All you need to craft this is a piece of paper and a light blue die. Once you've made the empty schematic, you can also go ahead and make a schematic and quill. This simply requires an empty schematic and a feather. Once we have our schematic and quill, we can use that to make a new schematic. And what I'm going to do is use the schematic and quill to make a schematic of a bridge that I've built in my survival world so that I can import it into my creative world. And there I can kind of play around with different designs and make it however I want before import it back into my survival world. And what you want to do here is you right click to place the first position and then you'll start getting this box and then you can right click to set the second position. And by default you're kind of placing the box on a block. If you'd like to adjust the position and just place it in the air somewhere or inside a block you can hold control to kind of fine tune your positioning. And as you'll see that's kind of what I'm doing here so I'm going to hold control to kind of place it inside the wall here. And then I'll just right click to set my second position again. And you'll get that little pop up that says second position set. And now you have your schematic marked out. You can check that everything looks right. And if you're happy with what you've created, then you can just right click in the air. So looking away from the schematic and you'll be able to save it as a file on your computer. I'm just going to go ahead and save this as bridge one. And then we'll be able to head over to our creative world to import what we just created. So now that we're in our creative world, we can place down our schematic table. This is what's going to allow us to take an empty schematic and import our schematic that we created in our survival world. So I'll just go ahead and search for empty so we can find an empty schematic and give that to ourselves. Now we'll just go ahead and place that empty schematic in our schematic table. And at the top, we select bridge one there, and then we just press the check mark to create the schematic. Now, this will give us a filled schematic, which we can use to place our bridge. As you can see, it's pretty huge, and we'll just put it down right here, I think. There we go. As you can see, it's a little bit laggy because uh, it's such a huge file, but it's still working. Now, once you place it like this, it's not actually there. You can like walk through it and see where everything is and uh, position it how you want it. As you can see, I have some options down at the bottom where I can move it around with Alt. We'll go through that later. For now, I'm just gonna click Print. The Print option is only available in uh, Creative Mode. You won't have it in Survival. I'll show you how that works later. But now we press Print and that gives us the actual blocks in the Creative World. So now we can do whatever we want. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this, what I've built here, and make a little bit better looking design that we can import into our survival world. And boom, there we go. Now we have a slightly better looking bridge, uh, just a steel girder bridge, uh, which I yeah took some time to design. And uh, hopefully it will build in our survival world. And hopefully it won't cost too much materials because I don't have unlimited resources but I should have enough to make this bridge. So we need a schematic and quill now to kind of redo the same steps we did in our survival world so that we can import this back in there. So what I'm gonna do is find the first corner of our bridge here, and I'm just holding control to be able to place it into the air. And I think that's gonna be right. Uh, it's a little bit off. I'll try to reposition it here. So once again, Hold control so we can put it in the air. I'm gonna go a few steps up from here. Let's see, about there should be right. First position is now set and we can see it's looking pretty good. It's above our bridge, which would be perfect. And then we'll just go down here to the other corner to select the other side. And there we go, second position set. And now we'll be able to save the schematic 
so that we can import it back into our survival world. And uh, I'll just go ahead and call it finish bridge one so that we know it's related. So I've hopped back in our survival world here and I need to place down a schematic table, which I've already crafted. We're gonna do the same thing we just did where we place an empty schematic in here and we'll make sure to select our finish bridge this time. You just select it by scrolling and then we click the check mark and that's gonna build our schematic. It's a little bit slow right now because we have a lot of blocks so it's, it's quite a large file. I'll go ahead and skip forward a little bit. So now it's complete and now we can go ahead and place the schematic. And this time the placement will be a little bit more important since we already have a bunch of blocks uh, in our world here. The first placement won't matter too much as we can move it around as I'll show here in a moment. But once we find a position that we think is close to being right, we can just right click to get our kind of blueprint showing. There we go. As we can see, it's totally off, but now we can use the controls at the bottom of the screen here to adjust our position. So right now it's set to move X and Z, which is like left and right on the horizontal plane. There's also options to move it up or down vertically. And you can also rotate and flip it and mirror and stuff like that. So it's quite versatile. One thing you'll notice is that we don't have the print option. That's only for creative. But yeah, move XC. I'll just hold control now and then I will scroll with my mouse wheel and that will allow me to push the block forward. The side that you're looking at will determine which way that the placement is going to move. So as you can see, if I look at it from this side, it's going to move towards me or away from me. And then I have to go over to this side to move it uh, in the other direction. And we just keep moving around a bit until we find a placement that we think we're happy with. So this looks like it's pretty much aligned perfectly. So I think this is what I'm going to go with. And once we've done that, we need to place down a schematic cannon nearby. And we can place our schematic into the schematic cannon. And we also need some gunpowder. And then it's ready to fire, basically. However, we need to supply it with some materials. But there's a lot of settings here which you can play around with to change how it's going to place different blocks and such. Now, to figure out what kind of materials you need, you can get a regular book. Make sure you have your schematic in the cannon. And then you can place the book in the top right corner. This will then print all the things you need into the book, so you can check if you have everything or not. By placing the book in the cannon again, it will actually update with everything you have supplied to the cannon, what you're missing, and what you actually have. So as you can see here, the book shows you the exact number that you need, but also to the right, it's good to note that it shows you how many stacks that equals, so it's easier for you to count when you're uh, crafting this or collecting it. So, I need to run back real quick to let my factory uh, craft a lot of the stuff that I need here. It's actually some stuff that I need to fetch manually, but I'll skip by this part real quick. So, once you have everything, just dump it in a chest next to the cannon, put in your book again, and now you can check if everything's been received. I actually don't have a good way of getting grass blocks. You need, like, silk touch, I guess. Um, so, I'm going to skip those and let those be left out. Then I'll make sure to set the cannon to also skip those in the settings here. Initially, I also set the cannon to replace uh, solid with empty. This is something you probably don't want to use. The reason for that is because in my case, it actually started replacing the water blocks right here, making for a really ugly situation, actually. So I went back and I set it to replace solid with any, and we started back up again. And this time, after some weird behavior, it seemed to start working as expected. And that's really all there is to it. Now you just let the cannon run, do its thing, and it will eventually build a bridge or whatever other schematic you might be doing. That's the end of this guide. So I'm just gonna let this run to show you guys what the final outcome is. But thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you wanna see more of my videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, please do leave a comment. I'd love to get some ideas for more content to make in the future.